Well, it's time to belly up to the bar and find out what's on tap at Brews with Brian. Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Brews of Brian, your weekly craft beer review podcast here on the Loaded Sports Network, where each and every week, me, uh, the Colonel, and uh, my co-host Bill give you our thoughts on a uh, craft beer from around the world. This week, we're starting off with Gumball Head. Gumball Head is an American ale, American wheat ale from uh, Three Floyds Brewing, and it's good. It's a really good beer, guys. I uh, had this thing at my bachelor party a couple of years ago. One of my buddies brought it down because this thing is not available where I live in North Alabama. And drinking this thing cold, it was fantastic. Here's a shot of it pouring into a glass. Again, you know, not your typical craft beer glass, but again, they're not drinking it straight out of the bottle. So, But guys, you're here for a review, so let's kick this thing off. This beer pours golden with brilliant clarity. It has a white head with very good head retention. You can tell that in that picture right there. The aroma has grapefruit and citrus. There is also a low grassy element to it with slight yeast and some earthy notes. Uh, the taste has strong citrus flavors with grapefruit. Uh, there's a doughy flavor after the initial flavor, which is strong in the finish. And there's some earthy flavors and lemon as well. This thing has a medium body with a hoppy, bitter, but not harsh finish, which you would expect from an American pale ale. Overall, this thing has plenty of flavor with citrus, grapefruit, and lemon being the strongest up front, and dough and earth finishing it off. So it's a great finish. You know, just you know, com competes with the with the beginning of this beer. Uh, like I said, I had this thing a couple of years ago, and I wish I could get it here because it would be stocked in the fridge constantly. Uh, drink this thing as cold as you can get it. Uh, you will not regret that. But guys, let's uh, check in with Bill. Bill's the co-host here at the Lotus at the uh, Bruiser Brian on the Loaded Sports Network. Uh, we're still trying to get uh, Bill pinned down and get him for the question and answer show, the bonus show we're going to do. But Bill's a traveling man; it's it's hard to get him uh, pinned down in one spot. You know, if you don't believe me, just ask him. And here he is, as he is each and every week, pouring a beer into the Bruiser Brian mug. And guys, let's find out what he thinks. Oh, he loves it, guys. Hey, we even got the same color shirt on. Good for us. We're two of a kind. But Bill loves this beer just as I do. Guys, if you can find it, if you can get it, you got to try it. Uh, just trust me on that. But Bill, we'll see you next week, bud. Now we've got the Bruiser Brian Bar Trivia. Uh, question from last week was about how many grapes it takes to make a bottle of wine. The answer is about 400 grapes. It's a lot of grapes. I didn't know that one. Again, I'm not a wine drinker. I don't know anything about wine. But about 400 grapes will make you a bottle of wine. Did you know that one? Maybe you did. But this week's uh, question is going to be, which country is the biggest consumer of beer uh, per person? Do you know it? This one could be tricky. Hmm. Well, guys, we'll check it back next week, and we'll find out the answer. Just want to thank everybody for listening. Again, the show has become a massive success since moving to the Lotus Sports Network. Uh, the numbers keep climbing each and every week. Uh, hopefully, we're going to have some sponsorship soon. Uh, we're in the works on that. Uh, so don't forget, you can watch the video show on YouTube or Spotify. You can check out the audio version anywhere you find your favorite podcast. And guys, we hope we're a part of that group. But don't forget to stop back by Bruiser Brian, where knowledge is always on tap.